Well, looking at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, and U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke has been defending the decision there to assist troubled investment bank Bear Stearns, saying the controversial move was necessary to protect the U.S. economy against severe consequences. Bernanke has been the top witness at a congressional hearing this Thursday to examine whether the Fed was justified in providing $30 billion to facilitate the sale of Bear Stearns to J.P. Morgan Chase. Bernanke says that given the exceptional pressures on the U.S. economy, the fallout, if Bear Stearns had been allowed to fail, could have been severe and far-reaching. But critics have questioned the legality of putting $30 billion of taxpayers' money at risk and say the intervention prevented the natural discipline of the market from taking its course. The weakness and the On a Thursday's market action now and after a strong performance over the past two days, European shares dipped in Thursday trading. New data showed a slowdown in Eurozone economic growth and further write-downs weighed heavily on the banking sector. Our markets correspondent Uli Bart sent us this summary of the Thursday session from Frankfurt. The DAX was weaker, but nobody here in Frankfurt was really uh, worried about that. Indeed, uh, many people had uh, thought that profit-taking was in order after the previous two days saw enormous share price gains, above all in the banks. Uh, what's going to be really interesting, people said, though, is Friday's trading. There's labor market data expected from the United States, and one wants to interpret from that how weak the U.S. economy really is and what that means for trading in the next few days as well. BASF and Bayer were among the uh, day's gainers against the general trend. These two chemical companies profited from news from Zingenta. Zingenta is an agrochemical company from Switzerland, and it has a thriving business uh, with uh, the agricultural sector. BASF and Bayer also have business like that, so people are hoping that they will also report higher profits. Uli Bartz for us there in Frankfurt, where we can stay for a closer look at the numbers. And the DAX ending the day lower by about half of 1%, finishing at 67.41. And the U.S. stocks 50 also finishing lower, closing there at 37.74. Meanwhile, over on Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial is closing up into positive territory, finishing the Thursday session at 12,626 points. Meanwhile, on the currency markets, the euro trading higher at this hour at a value of 1 U.S. dollar, 56.62.